What's up with the fam? It's your boy ASAP Thriller here. Back at it again with another video. Fam, I'm making another video yet again with my phone. This video idea just came to me while I was in the middle of driving, right? And I decided to make this video and put it together. So I don't have my best camera, but this video is absolutely essential. And anybody who is considering going into business could use the information found in this video. But I wanted to specifically target people who look like me because we lack the most wealth, right? And we lack the most businesses. So that's why the title of this video is referring to black people. But this video could be used for anybody going into business. I want to make that clear, anybody. But the title of this video contains black people because I want YouTube to do its algorithm thing to specifically target people that I feel like really need to hear this message more than anybody else because we lack the most businesses and because we lack the most wealth. But again, anybody going into this uh, into business can use the information in this video. Okay, so here are six reasons that most businesses fail, right? Now, this is not the only reasons that businesses fail, uh, but these are six reasons that a lot of businesses fail. And this is from my own personal experience. Okay, so the first reason that I have that many businesses fail is because of too much leverage, right? Borrowing too much money. Now, I see this happening in two different ways. The first reason that I see is people borrowing money or, or taking on too much leverage in order to initially start their business, which is a recipe for disaster, fam. It's not impossible, but it is highly risky for you to start your business using 100% leverage, right? Because you have yet to prove the business model. The idea that you have may be good, it may be grand, but you have to understand a lot of times when you go into business, you have to start, you have to build up a customer base, right? And that could take time. And if you are over leveraged, you may not be able to have enough revenues, enough sales in order to meet that debt obligation. So going into business, using too much leverage could be a recipe for disaster. And the second way that I see this plan out is when the business is doing uh, relatively good, right? Business owners will sometimes have aspirations to scale up too high. So in order for them to scale up too high, even though that the cash that they have on hand is not enough for them to scale up to the level that they want to scale up to, what they would do is they would go to the bank or they would use, they would uh, max out their credit card so that they can scale up the business because in their minds, they think that they could have enough sales in order to cover the, the new debt obligation that they have. So scaling up too fast, fam, it's better to use the revenues from your business to scale up gradually than it is to use leverage right too much leverage in order to scale up now that's the rule right but it's not the exception sometimes people are, can do well with leverage but fam it's highly highly risky right you are risking your business by scaling up too fast using too much leverage and the second reason that i have on the list is for the people who decide to go into business with a partner right now this is important anytime you go into business with a partner you have to make sure you get that partnership agreement understood, right? Get that partnership agreement between you, your partner, and the lawyer and an attorney. Now, this is important because you can always go back and reference uh, that paperwork, right? And fam, hey, like, really think about this, right? When you go into business between you and the partner, a lot of times, no matter, you can talk to your partner until you blow in the face, right? You might think that you have the same goals. You might think that you guys can see the business uh, going into the same direction. But fam, a lot of times once money gets involved, plans change, aspirations change, goals change, right? So when you have that partnership agreement, you can always easily go back and recall the things that you were initially agreed on, right? Once money gets involved, a lot of times things change. So get that partnership agreement and make sure that you jam pack that partnership agreement. Take time and get everything that you can think of into that partnership agreement and make sure that you guys are on equal footing and have a, a, a thorough understanding of where you see the business going. Making sure you guys are on the same page, understanding how much you you guys actually going to take as a salary, paying yourselves, how much are you guys going to reinvest, where do you see the growth of the business going. Get all of that down and signed and agreed on before you go into, into any type of partnership or any type of business. It's absolutely essential. And the third reason why businesses fail is because sometimes, fam, prices are too high. Listen, fam, I know this from experience. I have had successful businesses and I currently have a successful business. Fam, pricing is everything, especially when you first start out. Fam, a lot of times when you go and you buy, let's say products, right? Products wholesale, right? 
in the mind of many people in many businesses, they think, okay, the rule is to double the price and the 100% profit that I'm going to get as a result of doubling the price is going to be my revenues, right? That's going to be my revenues. And out of that, I'm going to use that to stay afloat, to pay my bills, to pay my employees or whatever. Fam, that's thinking about it the wrong way, fam. Listen, profit is good, right? Profit is good. But at the same time, you got to understand that margin. You don't always have to double the price in order for you to make profit. You can make a lot more money by selling volume, right? And if you have good prices, customers come back. You see what I'm saying? Customers come back. So you don't always need to double the price to make money. Because if you double the price and if people start looking at your products like they're too expensive, guess what? People are going to start shopping around. People are going to start going to Amazon. People are going to start getting online, trying to find the same product that you have for a cheaper price. So it's better for you to just make sure. Of course, you want to make profit, but you don't necessarily have to double it, right? Try to figure out your overhead cost. Try to figure out how much the product actually costs you per unit. Do your math and you include the, your overhead, your, the cost of employees, your electricity, your, 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 your building, like all of your costs. Put that into the actual cost of each individual product, right? You divide it up, put that into the cost of each individual product and you figure out how much is this product actually costing you, right? Then after you figure out how much each product is actually uh, costing you after you factor in your overhead then you could easily figure out how much money do I need to sell this individual product for for me to be in the green for me to be profitable right and try to stay as close to that as possible so that you could still remain profitable but you don't necessarily have to always double the price and if you cannot make it work without doubling the price then fam you are selling the wrong product and the next thing that I have on the list fam is Business owners not always understanding who their target audience is. Now fam, listen. Now, of course, this video can be used for anybody, but I wanted to use this video to specifically target black businesses because fam, this is one of the things that I see us messing up with a lot, especially when we starting off in business. A lot of times fam, we'll start us a business and we'll say, black owned business, black owned this, black owned that. But fam, if you got a product that's good, of course, you want your own people to come up, to show up and show out and to support you. But at the same time, fam, most likely black people are not going to support you just because you're black, right? People want good products. People want good prices. People want a good customer service experience. So, fam, get you a product. Of course, advertise it to your people. Advertise it to everybody, though, right? You want to get money from everybody. You want everybody to support your business. You want everybody's dollars. Money is green. Money ain't black. <laughs> money ain't white. Money ain't yellow, brown, or nothing else. It's green. You see what I'm saying? So fully understand your target audience. What are you selling? What is the value that your product is providing to people? That's who your target audience is, right? Figure out who that is. Now look, fam, one of the ways that I messed up in business, and I made a whole video about it. I lost like over $38,000 in less than a year. You see what I'm saying? Uh, in, in, in the business. But I messed up, fam, because the business that I was in, I was selling clothes, right? And for whatever reason, the type of products that I was selling, plus size women absolutely loved it, right? But did I have a lot of plus size inventory? Hell no. Now, if I would have really took the time to understand who my target audience would be, the business would have been a lot more successful, right? We, I would not have lost $38,000 that quick. You see what I'm saying? So fam, if I would have taken my time to understand who the target audience set was, then I would have been a lot more successful. So having a, a, a complete understanding of who your target audience will be is absolutely essential. And sometimes, fam, your target, your target audience can actually shift. Be willing to adapt to the changes. And the next reason that businesses fail, right, black businesses in particular, is because a lot of times, fam, we do not have an assortment of suppliers, right? We cannot go into business relying on one supplier because what, hap what would happen if that supplier went out of business? What would happen if that supplier decided to raise the prices on you so high that you can't really pass on that cost to customers where they're actually getting value? You see what I'm saying? So fam, have a, a multitude, have an assortment of suppliers that could uh, supply you with the same products that you're selling, right? Because fam, that's important, right? You have to be able to have leverage when dealing with these suppliers. If these suppliers know that you can easily go down the street or you can go to somebody else to get the same products, they will be less likely to screw you. So that's another reason. Keep that in mind. Last reason that businesses fail, fam. Whoo, 
Now, this is a big one, right? Customer service. Oh, I know y'all say, okay, I'm about to click off now. Everybody know that. No, everybody don't know that, right? Fam, customer service is absolutely essential. People want to feel valued. People want to feel like, uh, people want to feel like they're right. If they're spending their money, the customer is always right, right? You got to make it right because you want their repeat business. Now, you as a business owner, you might know that. But you got to make sure you keep a close eye on the employees that you hire to make sure that these employees are making the customers feel valued. Because if they are not, they won't say Shawana or Amanda did me wrong. They're going to say the name of your business, insert the name of your business in this space right here. They're going to say the business is a bad, had a bad experience. They're going to say the business is bad. So fam. Customer service is absolutely essential. So, with that being said, fam, that's all I really want to say. I hope that this video, this video provided some value to y'all. Uh, keep this in mind because this is absolutely essential if you want to be successful. And I know this from experience. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch some of my other videos. Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for watching. And I hope, again, that y'all come back. Y'all hit the like button and that y'all subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Holla at your boy.